Ooh, there's, is that some fish on the bottom there? Let's wait till it swings back. I think there's some up there. So you're looking at buying a live scope. I can tell you right now, if you do buy it, you're gonna love it. But I know price-wise, certain things get out of range. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the best live scope bundles for each price range. There's a fish right there. Let's see if we can catch him quick. So first I wanna explain that there are multiple live scope transducers. And I know I've seen people on Facebook talk about different ones and I, there's just some mystery. There's some information out there that I just wanna make sure you understand if you are buying a live scope unit. Uh, the first generation of live scope, which is the PS22 transducer, that runs like a 450 or 470 kilohertz. It's not really live scope, it's pan optics and uh, it works. Don't get me wrong, I used to have it on my boat back when it came out in like 2015, 2016. And it does work really well, but it's not the clarity that you expect from a live scope. You guys see all the screen recordings, you can see it on mine. Live scope is the second generation, which is, there's two transducers. There's the LVS-12 and the LVS-32. The LVS-12 does not have the same range in terms of what it views on the water column as the LVS-32. Most people, when they hear live scope, they think of the live scope bundle, which is the LVS-32 transducer and the GLS-10 black box. The LVS-12 is a cheaper option. I know a lot of people point it out saying it's only six or 700 bucks, but it's not the full range of what you expect from live scope. It's probably a good option for ice fishermen. If you're looking to save some money, you can put it in down view and you're fishing directly below the hole because it's ice fishing. So um, that might be an option if you're specifically buying this unit for ice fishing. But if you're looking at putting on your boat like I have it up here, you're probably looking at either the LVS32 or the brand new, which is now the third generation live scope or second generation live scope, third generation pan optics, the LVS34 live scope plus. Uh, they, they changed up the design of it. The LVS34 is a kind of a rectangle design of a transducer, whereas the LVS32 is more of a triangle. The difference between the designs actually has something to do with the clarity at a certain range. So the LVS32 is pretty good within 50 feet, but after 50 feet, you started to get some blurriness. Um, maybe there's some dead zones and they came out with the LVS34 to solve some of those issues. And for the most part, in, in my experience, I have an LVS34 on my unit. It has solved those issues. You can crank it up to hundred feet and it's pretty darn clear if you're casting a big enough bait, there's no dead zones and uh, you can see fish pretty pretty darn well uh, up to about 100 120 feet so those are kind of the three types of transducers for live scope the lvs 12 the lvs 32 and the lvs 34 and the reason i just want to clarify that before we start talking about bundles is so you understand the difference if you see something on facebook marketplace or craigslist you're not fooled thinking that it's something else so I'm specifically going to talk about the original live scope, the LVS32 bundle. So it's the LVS32, the GLS10 black box, and then a certain screen size. Probably the most economic version or economical version is the 7.3 SV Echomap UHD system. It's a seven inch screen. It's probably great for you small guys that have smaller boats or kayaks or canoes or something. Um, it's a touch screen, so it works really well if you need to zoom in and out uh, with live scope. The Ecomap 7.3 SV with the live scope bundle priced in roughly about 1700 bucks, 16, 1700 bucks. So that is probably your most affordable unit, uh, but I wouldn't consider the best bang for your buck. The best bang for your buck is the step up in the Ecomap series, the Ecomap UHD 9.3 SV screen. It's a nine inch touch screen. Probably the best seller for Garmin when it comes to the LiveScope bundle. Uh, you can get it just under two grand. I think it's like $19.99 or something like that. And with the compatibility of touchscreen with the LiveScope, it does have, it does come with a transducer. You can get the bundle with the transducer, like a regular side imaging transducer as well. So, you know, for under two grand, that's the best bang for your buck. I understand it's $2,000, but uh, if, if you're really looking at getting into live scope and you're, you're serious about it, that, that's the bundle a lot of people look at. Now, if you want something bigger, if we want to step into the 10 and 12 inch screens, there's probably two models that I would, I would look at seriously and not try to break the bank. And those are the GPS map 1022 and 1222. You guys see a screen up here. This is actually a GPS map 1022. 
Um, it's pretty good in terms of pixel quality and it's not touchscreen. It's got the little dial knob in the top right corner to kind of zoom in and out and change depth settings and stuff like that. But I've been using the 1022 now for almost two years. It is a great unit. The 1022 bundle prices in at about $2,600. Um, but if you're looking for a 10 inch screen, that's your best bang for your buck when it comes to a 10 inch screen. When it comes to the 12 inch screen, which is the big brother, the step up is the 1222 GPS map. Uh, comes in at $3,300. That's, that's getting, you no. Know, we're starting to get into expensive territory um, with a live scope bundle. But if you want the biggest screen you can probably get that's at a reasonable price, that's a 12 inch screen. This is a GPS map 1222. Now I do have to say, the 1222 and the 1022, all they are is basically a, a mapping system. They don't have sonar. Don't have a sonar plug-in for a side imaging or down imaging transducer. But you can plug them in to other units, like I have mine connected to an 8610X XXV, and you can share live scope, you can share your side imaging with other units, other GPS map units that do have that compatibility. So if you're worried about that, of just getting a 12 inch screen, but it doesn't have uh, your regular side view or clear view technology. As long as you have an ethernet cable to connect it to other units that do have that technology, you can just share the screen like a different monitor. Um, and that's kind of the cool thing about this unit. It's connected to both my units of the dash here. So I can actually have that in the water and I can view the same live scope screen at the units of the dash. It's kind of the cool thing. And you can do the same if you have the echo map units. Um, you just have to get a, a five port plug-in, connect some ethernet cables, and you can actually connect all the units and share the screen that way. But your 1022 and your 1222 are your lowest price 10 and 12 inch screen that Garmin offers for your LiveScope bundles. Now some screen options that are, that give a lot more pixels, that give a lot more clarity. Now we're getting in the territory of like four to $5,000 as, as a bundle. And I know most of you probably aren't gonna spend that, but for those of you that are building out a boat, and you know you're going to you're going to spend ten twelve thousand dollars getting a full boat set up with electronics. The GPS Map twelve forty three XSV is a pretty good unit, uh, pixel wise. But if you want the best of the best, the full HD screen, you're going to look at either an eighty six ten, the eighty four ten, or a eighty four twelve or an eighty six twelve GPS Map units. These are full HD screens, um, super crisp, clear picture. I do have an eighty six ten on my dash. It is phenomenal side imaging or side view technology, um, and it works great for live scope as well. So if, you, if you're somebody that, you know, you're gonna put up the big bucks to have a really high dollar screen because you want that clarity, that crispness of an image, the 86 10 12 or the 84 10 12 uh, GPS map units are what you're gonna wanna look at. Um, the difference between the 84 series and the 86 series is it has to do with the mapping. Um, the 8600 has better mapping, so there you go. So just a quick recap of the bundles, if you're looking on the low end, that'd be the Echomap 73SV or the Echomap 93SV. Um, both of them under $2,000 packages. If you're a beginner getting into LiveScope, maybe you got a smaller boat, uh, those are the two packages I would look at. If you're somebody that has already put Garmin's or something on your boat, or maybe you just want one Garmin screen for a live scope, but you want a bigger screen, a 10 and 12 inch screen, the 1022, 1222 GPS maps, uh, those are like $2,600 to $3,200 packages. Uh, they come with the live scope bundles. Those are the two screens I would look at. And if you're somebody that, you know, you got the money and you wanna get the best of the best, the GPS map 8400 or 8600 series, 8610, 8612, those are full HD screens, the crispest image that Garmin offers. Um, so if that's something you care about, those are the different bundles that you're looking at. Um, and if you really wanna go big, I didn't mention this in the, in the 8600 series, but they do make an 8616. I think it's like 6,000 bucks. Ridiculously, I'm not gonna drop 6,000, but maybe you might. It's a big screen, it's a full HD screen. So you can check it out. I'll link everything down below. You can check it all out. But those are the LiveScope bundles, different price points. And I think most of you are probably gonna be in that 7.3 SV to 93 SV uh, price point. So check it all out, links down below. If you got any comments or questions, post in the comments section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. Good luck the rest of the fall, catch a ton of fish.